This is the plaintiff, Maureen Mays. She says her 15-year-old son's a competitive dancer who came in third at nationals last year, and she hired the defendant, a choreographer, to teach him a number for this year's nationals. She paid him, and he was supposed to send her son a video of the choreography to learn. When they got the video, it was amazingly awful. She shocked the defendant acted in such an unprofessional way. She had to scramble at the last minute, and she's here seeking the return of her $500, the amount she paid. This is the defendant, Trey Ramtree. He says the plaintiff's one of those stressed out dance moms who overreacted to the instructional video he sent her son. He's used to these moms, but he's been professionally choreographing for four years. He knows what he's doing, and if the plaintiff didn't like the dance he created because he was standing around too much, that's her problem. He's accused of not getting the steps right. All parties, please hit your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff's 15-year-old son is a competitive dancer who placed in the national. So his mom hires this choreographer to do a routine for him, and it says it's awful. Now, the defendant says the plaintiff's a stressed-out dance mom. It's the case of, I'm not a regular mom, I am a dance mom. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Maureen man. Mays, you are suing Trey Roundtree for $500 that you paid him for a choreography video that according to you was not what you requested. Tell me what's going on. How do you two know each other? Mr. Roundtree was a professional assistant dancer for a national touring company. At the same time, my son was a pre-professional unpaid assistant in the same uh, company. And they met twice, uh, they danced together twice in November of 2017. So your son is a dancer? Yes. How old is he? 15. Okay. And um, he competes nationally? Locally and nationally. Okay. And how good is he? Pretty good. Came in third place in nationals? Third in his age group last year for nationals. That's fantastic. Yeah. Because this is a pretty competitive yeah. arena. Yeah. All right. So you, uh, apparently you had helped out Mr. Roundtree on a prior occasion on something completely separate. Correct. La um, in the... Last fall of 18, my son came to me and had seen on Instagram that Mr. Roundtree had a, a coronary defect, a, a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, an enlarged heart, according to his posts on Instagram. Um, my son was very upset by this because he found um, Mr. Roundtree, one of his mentors, he really enjoyed dancing with him. And so I reached out and said, hey, do you have health insurance? How are you getting help with this? It's really important that you get in and get medical care. Um, at that, he informed me that he didn't have health insurance. And so I got his information and tried to help him get Medi-Cal state health insurance in California. Hmm. Okay, so uh, sometime later, how much later? Uh, six months. Six months later, you yes. reach out to him and tell him what? Uh, we need a new solo for, Nash for his national competition. He has one, but he needs one in a different genre. Would you be interested in choreographing that? I sent him an email outlining what I would like in the video with, for example, what I expected as far as um, mailing us an instructional video, going back and forth with video um, of my son doing his choreography with correction, et cetera. And he agreed and said that that would be no problem. Okay, he tells you it'll be how much? $500. So you paid a total of 500 for the instructional video? Correct. And then you received the instructional video, supposedly how long after that payment? Quite some time after. Okay. We had a series of text messages back and forth. He had promised the video multiple times. On May 14th, I said that I had to pull the video. I had already entered it. Uh, when you say entered it, you mean filled out the forms saying the genre is this, the time duration is this, that's what you mean? Correct, uploading it to the national competition right. and paying the fee. When you ahead. say uploading it, you just mean the information that he had given you because you still hadn't seen the instructional video. Correct. Okay. Oh, I, would, I wouldn't be uploading the instructional video. I would only no, no, be right, uploading right. the music. I'm just clarifying. Yeah, I okay. would be, and, but I was supposed to upload the music as well. All right. What excuses was he giving you between April 20th and May 14th? Uh, a lot of them. He, um, His wisdom teeth hurt. Um, his wisdom teeth have really been killing me. Um, my guy, I don't have the video. The, my guy who needs to do the video isn't here. I can get that tomorrow. So I got a lot of tomorrows and tomorrows and next Tuesday and next Wednesday. And each time uh, the day it was promised or the day after I would text again, hey, still need the video. Okay. Um, 
At one point, um, on, on May 14th, I texted him and said, I have to pull the video from competition because it's only a few weeks, six weeks before, and no shows are looked upon more unfavorably than not competing at all. And so I said I had to pull it. Um, and later that night at 9.02, he produced a video that he sent me. OK, now this is the video that he sent. <laughs> Okay, so far I'm watching you dancing. Yes. Is there ever a video you send with actual instruction? No, because she kept asking me to send the dance video. She kept asking me to send the video. Okay, did you video. ever compose an instructional video, which is what she had hired you to do? No, because after I sent after I sent her that video, because I kept trying to send her the same dance video for the longest time. So after I sent her that video, she saw it, then she this is what she said. She said, Thank you for your services, but Basically, she didn't want. She didn't want. Okay, video because anymore. what she had asked you to do was an instructional video, no, right? No, she didn't like the choreography. That's what it was. Okay, let's see what an instructional video looks That's like. That's not you an had... instructional video, though. It's not. Yeah. I just told you that. So an instructional video looks like this. Okay, it's a bunch of talking in it. There's a bunch of instruction. There's. I think we yeah. get the general idea. So when he sends you a video of him dancing, what was it you said to him? I said, thank you for your service. I can't use this. I need, a vid I need an instructional video. And what did he say? I, I don't believe he responded. OK, Mr. Roundtree, I'm trying to understand your defense. Are you saying that you know that's not an instructional video and that you were showing her the final product to see if she liked it to then create an instructional video? I'm not following. So I was creating the dance video first, and I was going to send it to her to see if she liked the choreography. Then I sent it to her, then she didn't like it. And then she, she didn't even say, she didn't even say, choreograph something else. She said she didn't like it. Thank you for your services. And okay, I offered can I, that I would see choreograph something proof else. of what you just said? Um, I don't know if it's in text or email or Instagram. She's messaged me off a lot. May I? Yeah. Did you ever tell him, I don't like that dance? I would. You can read it. OK. It's the long paragraph. So I see that for days you've been asking him to please send it. Yes. Can you, do you want to just send? Why did you say send 550 via Cash App? He, he, I had given him an extra $50 at the beginning. No. I did not want that back. Okay. No. I did not file Stop for that. Stop talking. She's lying. I, do you mind? So if somebody has health problems where they can't perform the contract, is that an excuse? Yeah, I think that's the only excuse you can have if you're unable to work. I mean, you can't do it, so. You buying what he's saying? Uh, I am. I would say it could be an excuse if it's serious and you can do your work properly, yeah. So it's an excuse not to perform under the contract if you got a serious health problem? Um, I, it depends how, how severe um, that problem Does it? Problem. Does it? Yes, and I think that if there is a severe health problem, he should he or she should have a replacement. We will find out about this going inside the courtroom. Uh. You write, and this is on May 14th at 9 p.m., just send 550 via Cash App if you don't have the choreography. I'm done. I may look like some stupid cracker, but I'm not. Make this happen. Our young dancer is depending on you. You gave him your word. This is BS. Figure it out. He writes, what are you talking about? And then he, he sends the video. I've been trying, and he says, I've been trying to send him the video for days. I sent it days ago via email. Someone stole my phone. I apologize, but I'm trying to send the video. Then you respond, bottom line, no video. You've been promising it for a few weeks. I'm a mama, and this is my kid's future. You have our email. It works fine. I'm driving home now. I'll let you know if it's in my mailbox when I get there. It's not personal. It's business. 
He responds, I understand I'm not taking this personal at all. I sent it a couple of days ago. I guess it didn't work. I sent it three times. I guess it didn't work. Then you say, video came in. Thank you. We won't be able to use it. We appreciate your effort. All the best to you. He asked, why won't you be able to use it? To which you respond, the moving parts are fine, but it doesn't tell a story. And there's a lot of walking around. I sent you a bunt of vi- bunch, I guess, video so you could see his style. That didn't happen. Also, I specifically said contemporary with a lot of hip hop elements. That's why I chose you. It's fine. No hard feelings. Thanks for the effort. We will figure something out. To which he responds, but I'd have to direct him on what to do in his own style. And you say it's just a mess. $550. Lesson learned. John is heartbroken. Just forget it. He says, do you want me to choreograph it over and send a new version tomorrow? And you point out, I told you this last month, because we're getting very close to the wire at this point. He says, well, I must have forgot because I was waiting on an email. I'm sorry. I was just super busy last month, ended up homeless. So I was dealing with a lot. Then you respond, you were his first pro hero. The good news is that two years has passed, and now he gets the business way better. You should have declined the gig and not accepted the money. That is how the real world works. Someone pays you, and you deliver as promised. Having said that, I expect nothing at this point. You've got your 550. I'm willing to learn a hard lesson. We have until Sunday at 10 a.m. to cancel his solo and lose more money for canceling. You decide what's right between you and your higher power. I'm going to make dinner. And then you hear nothing from him in a couple of days. So you say, guess you and your God are moving on since you didn't reply. Should I cancel now or wait until Sunday? You wait another day. He doesn't respond. Then you say, not to mention all the time I spent trying to help you get insurance. Great dancer. Not a good man or a good mentor. He responds to you. What's funny is I just finished the new choreography, but you want to sit over here and talk to me because I didn't respond like you know what's going on with me. And for days you keep saying, it's after 10 p.m. on Saturday. Should I expect nothing? Should I expect nothing? Should I expect nothing? You keep texting him, and he says, I read your message the first time. Why are you spamming me with the same message? I sent it already. Did you ever get a second thing? You tell him that's BS, and then he just stops answering you. Because she's texting me and messaging me off every social media, so I'm not going to respond to all of that at one time now. Yeah, but here's the thing. You know, you were hired to do a job, and you didn't do the job. What is the reason that you didn't? Because I had things going on, and that's not a good reason, but that's just the reason that I have, <laughs> honestly. And she told me, oh, it's okay because John can learn dances within three days. He he learns dances from professional but dancers But it doesn't all the time. sound like she felt like it was okay. It's, I'm reading yeah. all of her texts and emails where she is really telling you, come on, I need something. I need something. Even before everything hit the fan in the middle of May. Before that, I see her saying, I really need this from you and what's going on. And I see your excuses about I lost my password, I'm homeless, and all, all this other stuff. I'm ordering you to return the $500. She couldn't use that. What ended up happening with your kid? I've found a local choreographer who's 16. They're working on something now. Okay. She found somebody. I find in favor of the plaintiff, pay the lady back $500. Thank you. So the plaintiff, or rather the defendant's going to have to give the plaintiff 500 bucks. You're laughing. Yes. Why? Because <laughs> this is hysterical. What's funny? Everything about this. And you lost. Yes, that's great. Good luck to you. Okay. Good but you don't look so you. hot here right now, unfortunately. I look great. <laughs> you look great, too. Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> it's over. All right. Ms. Mays, you can hold that. Oh, oh well. no, okay. okay, come on over. Hi. What are you thinking? Well, it went out the way I thought it would. Really? But yeah. He, you know, made a promise that he couldn't keep and devastated a young boy. And I'm just really glad that it went the way it should have. All right. Well, good luck to him. Thank you All so right. much. I hope you've learned from this. Yes. I think you have. Oh, I think yeah. you have, for sure. <laughs> Harvey? Uh, number one, uh, a health problem is not an excuse for breaching a contract. It's sad, but it's not an excuse. And by the way, right time is of the essence, if time really matters, on the contract. Those are magic words.